Aloha. What is going on in this time lapse? Let's find out. Or maybe not, as the case may be. This may look like a complicated diagram, and it is. However, it is a very useful tool for explaining what is going on in the time lapse. It's a graph made from a weather balloon of temperature, dew point, and winds. Plotted as a balloon ascends, it represents a profile through the troposphere. The elevation is shown on the left. It's hard to see in meters. I'm overlaying an image of a very old comparison heights by mountains by Tom and Thomas Gamaliel Bradford in 1835 in Boston. Uh, just to show where Mount Everest would stand on that. Mount Everest is actually not on that diagram because I don't think it was uh, known at the time. But I'm just labeling it. Uh, it's just a little higher than the one marked on. And uh, yeah, uh, this is a little bit of an excerpt I found while uh, <coughs> finding this figure. The Himalaya mountains, which extend along its whole northern boundary, contain the loftiest summits in the world. They rise in successive stages from the Champagne country, forming several parallel ridges, until the principal and loftiest range shoots its colossal summits up into regions of perpetual snow. This principal chain separates the valleys of Siringor, Nepal, and Bhutan from Tibet and attains an elevation of 26,000 and 28,000 feet. Love it. Anyway, I digress. And then down in the left are the tallest buildings in the world. So you get an idea of the scale of this uh, profile we're looking at. Okay, so what about the thunderstorm? Well, uh, uh, I'm not going to go into too much detail on this at this point, but <clears throat> the red shaded area indicates where air that rises from the surface will be warmer than the air around it, meaning that it'll be more buoyant and continue to rise. So this whole depth of uh, atmosphere <coughs> that's colored in red indicates where the thunderstorm could develop and, and continue to rise until it tops off at the very top. And that top is around 50. 15,000 uh, meters, and then the little blue area down the bottom is called the cap. Uh, it could hold off the convection and allow for even more instability, that red, air to, that red area to grow further. And I just want to outline that there were three main wind layers. The bottom one uh, shows the wind out of the northwest, the middle one out of the east, and the top one out of the west. That is at a height of 14 kilometers, roughly. This is a terrible capture from the Ram B site um, of the convection blowing up there over the peninsula and then over the Tiwi Islands there it's blowing up. The reason I'm putting this in here is because I just want to show where the roughly the time lapse is looking there you can see and that's the cloud that it's pointing at is the anvil of the thunderstorm over Shubudung top there on the left. So um, that cloud is the, the 14 kilometer cloud moving to the right. So there you go. This is the time lapse. And if you can see, you'll see the three different wind layers seen in the sounding. I'll shut up now.